Eight minutes of first half excellence made the difference in the end. What did you think of that game? A game of two halves. Um, a couple of moments in the first half where we were we were poor. A couple of moments in the first half where we were outstanding. Um, and like you say, that eight minutes, we um, we sustained pressure really well. We recycled the ball really well in their final third, and we was rewarded with that. Um, and, and, and throughout the game, it was difficult conditions before we started. It was difficult conditions throughout the game and, and, and walking on the pitch after the game. Fair play to for 20, 26 players that have, uh, have given it, give it all today. So that second 45 was a real slog. The rain coming down really affected the pitch. Just how hard is it to work on that sort of pitch where the ball just won't pass, won't bounce and just sticks to the feet? I think, you know, both sides that I've probably put hours into to training in terms of pre-match sessions and, and, and what it looks like against for us against Marine and what it looks like for Marine against Radcliffe. Uh, a lot of time and effort goes into that and I feel like the weather, which can't be helped and it's the same for both sides, but uh, probably ruined a good game of football second half. Um, but again, both sets of players, no complaints. They, we, we, everybody rolled their sleeves up, everybody worked hard. There was a lot to play for for both sides um, and, 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 and over the two games, we, we believe we should have got some at Marine. They might believe, you know, on a better day, they might get some at here. But I, but I think we're worthy of our three points today. It almost looked like a change of style. It's the first time we've seen Jordan Hume accompanied by uh, Banjo up top. What was the thinking behind that? Was there something you saw in Marine's game plan that allowed that to come into play? Uh, no, not at all. I think as managers, you've got to stay true to your word. And when you've got a squad like we've got, you, and, and everybody's champing at the bit to, 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 to get in the side, we, we, we tell people and players, uh, train hard, work hard. If you're on the bench, come on, impact the game. And, and if and if you do so, then you know, you, you, you'll you get your, your start. And I think for, for Banji, he, he pulled us before Christmas. He went out on loan, got his goals, come back fit, strong, determined to want to, to wanna, uh, have an impact on, on, on what we're doing at the football club. And, and I thought his, his, his start, you know, was, was, was well and truly um, deserved. And the way uh, Ewan uh, applied himself first half, it, it's sometimes tough when you've not started for, for four or five games or, you know, in his case, a dozen games. But I thought he'd come on, he got his goal, he worked hard um, to the point where, you know, he had to come off. But that's, what, that's, that's all we ask, run, run, run till you drop. Another excellent bit of support in the tough weather from the fans, wasn't it? Outstanding. It has been from the start and, and, and I'm hoping it will be to the finish. And, and it's always sweet when you get the result, you get the three points, which gets us one, one step closer to where we want to be. Um, uh, but like I say, in terms of the conditions and you look at the bigger picture, um, we, we've had to work hard for that three points today. And, and that's what football's about. Uh, it, as a player, as a manager, you, you want to be involved in them games. That's what you work hard for. We've now got 10 games to go. Um, we, we, we've got to sort of dust ourselves down, prepare right. We've got two sessions, Tuesday, Thursday, um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, we, we, we're injury free and we go to Wilkeston next week with a full squad. How is it now, just those remaining 10 games? Is it just a question of remaining professional and getting the job done? Absolutely. Um, we can't look too far ahead. We've just got to look at next Saturday. First and foremost, Tuesday, Thursday. That's the hard stuff. Prepare right. Go to go go to Wilkesdon next Saturday, which is a is a good drive for us, and and just focus on what's in front of us, which is is, is Wilkesdon away. And and before we know it, it'll be nine, and it'll be eight, and we just count them down. Sure, come off one by one, and pick up as many points as we can along the way. And like I say, every win and every every point gets us closer and to, you know to where we want to be.